YouTube, it's your boy Dylan here. Today we're going to be doing something just a bit different. I want to introduce a series of videos that I'm going to start doing covering the history of Burmese pythons in captivity. In the fall of 2018 into the summer of 2019, Jackie of Cold Hearted Exotics put together a series of posts covering a different Burmese python morph or gene each week, covering everything from its history, uh, combos, genetic compatibility, defects, and so much more. I feel like this information really wasn't shared enough and just really wasn't readily available for a lot of people, especially on YouTube. Um, there's I mean, if you guys haven't noticed, there's a real lack of information in regards to Burmese pythons, both in captivity and just their history in general on this platform. So I've teamed up with Jackie to bring you guys a series of informational videos covering each different gene. I say we just jump right in with the normal or classic Burmese python, Python bivitatis, the animal we all love, or hopefully by the end of this video or the end of this series, you guys will grow to love just as much as I do. These beautiful animals are native to a wide range of Southeast Asia. I'll throw up a map right there highlighting their native range. They're actually still federally protected in India. In the wild, Burmese pythons are often found near water in marshy areas, grasslands, rocky foothills, and even deep up into the jungle. As juveniles, berms are actually slightly arboreal by nature, becoming a more ground-dwelling species as they grow. They are one of the world's five largest snakes, becoming a very heavy-bodied snake, with adults averaging anywhere from 12 to 16 foot, with certain specimens reaching slightly larger lengths. Burmese pythons really started to become popular in captivity in the early 1970s, especially after 1973 when at the time the more popular Indian rock python was listed as an endangered species and then again respectively in 1975 with the CITES of the species introduced. The love of Burmese and the, the amount of people really getting interested in them was just skyrocketing and really it hasn't looked back since. There's a huge love and a huge community that are devoted to keeping these species and it's really an amazing thing. And just the classic or normal Burmese python is just such a varying species. In the wild these animals can vary anywhere from nice nice dark browns and bright yellows to chocolates and tans. They can have pale heads to blushed out heads. They can be anything from a nice square blocked out pattern to a really erratic jagged pattern. Of course we know in captivity recessive genes or carrying a heterozygous trait for a recessive gene can influence these colors and patterns to a degree. But in nature, there's just such a variability in the classic or wild type Burmese python that it really makes it one of the most beautiful species naturally, um, if you ask me at least. What do you guys say we take a moment and we check out some normal Burmese pythons and then I'll get right back at you guys. Seriously, how can you guys not love that snake? They are absolutely gorgeous. Obviously, I may be a little biased, but seriously, 
that is an amazing animal. Make sure you guys go down below, smash that like button, hit subscribe, go to the description and make sure you guys go give Jackie of Cold Hearted Exotics a follow because without her this information would not be as easily accessible, especially in the coming weeks. You guys are going to learn a lot. I look forward to taking you guys along the journey with me and bringing you guys this series of videos. So until next time, peace.